That was, um, man, that was one of the hardest I've ever seen Falcon lose to a Fox, I feel like. Just just the way it felt. And I know Wizzy, Wizzy was off. He didn't really get the, the tech and stuff, but it felt like a yeah. neutral. Could do nothing. Anytime he got hit, Moki just extended, like, to oblivion. And, like, I don't know. That That's, like, my impression of the matchup now. Obviously, that's not going to happen in every I, single I set. I agree, though. I think as the... But as it's the, just... That's the potential that Fox has on Falcon. I think we're starting to see just how bad this matchup is. Uh, I feel like for a long time it was like Falco was the problem matchup and Fox not so bad. Um, and then I feel like we're just starting to see that kind of shit. Oh my but, God. but if Salt can do that, oh, wow. Oh, okay. I mean, that even that first conversion, I don't know if Leffen could have done anything. I don't know what the better DI would have been. And yeah. Oh, Salt making the, the air dodge read and the the up, uh, the sorry, the side B on stage read. Should be dead here. Oh, okay, never mind. Salt has great defense. Yep. Nice. That's gonna be it. Okay. Yeah, Leffen, Leffen answering back, but wow, what a strong start from Salt. Yeah, definitely. Oh, okay. <gasps> the jab. Yeah, the jab to make it so you couldn't kind of just do the fast full of the ledge. It, it messes with the timing. Yes. Because it's like, you get the jab. I, I think maybe it's like if you delay the fast fall, expecting the jab, it's like maybe you can get to the ledge somehow. Oh. Like, that's that <laughs> matchup specific stuff. Oh, oh, yo. The Ganon. Yeah, the Tipman. Where'd you okay. start melee? Why do you know that? I just know things. That's nuts. All right. I started in 05. Okay, so you definitely that, have a couple years on me. <laughs> that's 05 knowledge. I mean, not not that far back, but it's it's like that's some like old stuff. All right, beautiful drill grab though. Okay. Oh, big up smash! Yeah, man, up smash is so good against Falcon. Oh, and she got the recover. Oh, she got. Oh my oh. god. Randall felt like it was in the picture and we were just being baited. Like, still beautiful coverage from Salt. But 60%, that's Amazing. a lot. Misses oh, the fastball, that's it. Salt. Leffen no. with a baby fist bump there on the side. Deserve from Leffen. No response from Salt. She is frustrated with, I think, just, I, I think she thought maybe she got the fastball input. I, I yeah. didn't really see the input that she was kind of making on screen. Yeah. I looked away for a second, but. Yeah, wow, I, man. One of the things that I think really impresses me about Leffen, um, especially because I think it's not something people talk about as much, is even though Leffen is a player that is like kind of known for like complaining a lot, for lack of a better word, I actually think he is like one of the most mentally strong players we have in the entire scene. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like he can be in a really weird spot and like he's just able to stay composed. I'm not saying he's in that weird spot now, but it just feels like he's really, uh, really good at like, like, you know, we talk about like clutch box, you know? Uh -huh. I feel like people don't talk about how clutch Leffen is. Mm -hmm. You would say he's the clutchest, most mature baby of all time? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, like the clutchness on Twitter is a bit different. <laughs> you know, like, Oh, whoa, what happened there? How did he get that re-grab? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, down throw. Just got an opening, but double spot dodge. Looking like Sheik. It's so interesting because, like, I, I wonder how Falcon players, like, Salt, she, like, got a... Uh, she'll sometimes go for a reaction tech chase, but there she went for the read. It's just like, how do you, how do you decide? Like, how does one decide? She, like, just has the reaction sometimes, but then, like, I don't know, she'll just go for, like, the stomp or the knee or whatever. Like, right there. It's like, yeah. why? Well, this is the thing. is it's, like, <laughs> it's not that I don't think that they're, like, you know, informed by the player and trying to kind of still, like, get a read on things, but, you know, how much of it is just, like, a oh really good guess, you know? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just feel it. Yeah, but. yeah. Like, you have, like, a bit of, like, a barometer for things, and you mm -hmm. just kind of know now is the time. Man. Again, missing the fastball, I, the, I do wonder. The ledge has not been her friend. Not at all. But the tech chase moment is here. And off stage. What? Oh, she had that read there, too. Okay. Nice oh, extension. Oh, yeah. See, this is the stuff that I'm oh. saying. Oh, oh, my God. Gets a bit of a freebie. Okay. 
Mm. Yeah, same same situation from the right side on the left side. Just Salt going up with the aerial gets clipped again. Okay. Got Ooh. a decent amount of percent to work with. Doesn't get too much off of that up air either, so can kind of play a bit more grounded, but... But, yeah, I was going to say Salt having Leffen at knockdown percent. Leffen gets Salt to the same. Oh, that was weird. Oh, big up tilt. Edge got opportunity, maybe. Oh, Love the no. counter up air there. Not able to get the shield poke, though. Oh, that timing from Leffen was so good. And he gets... Beautiful shorten, though. <laughs> How he's... Like, he's... Okay. Oh, again? And, oh, dude, these shine spikes. Again? Do you see what I mean by clutch? Like, I feel like... No, you're right, you're right. it's something that, like, every top player has. Like, but... I feel like there are situations where, like, oh, no. You know that moment in Genesis where Scar screams, oh, no, for Leffen. <laughs> I feel like we uh, just saw uh. that. But then Leffen somehow is like, it's okay, it's okay, don't worry. Oh, man. It, it's crazy that, like, you're, you're totally right. But then Leffen will also go for... He got upbeat on, on the right side of Battlefield but went for the wall jump shine, which yeah. is like, it's like, yes, that will work. Yeah. And like, maybe he's practiced it, but it's like, that feels like a gamble. It's it, like, Leffen, despite being who he is, is still down a gamble in like a last stock, like weird pseudo, like flow chart situation. I, no, I, I that's, totally that's agree. Hype. That's hype. That, that's what that's I crazy. mean. Like, I, I feel like he oh. kind of has a reputation for sort of being like optimal, but I feel like it's his decisions and ability to kind of commit to those types of things that have made him the player that he is. But oh, good DI from Leffen there. Really good I DI. Say. Yeah, getting getting out of the the back your knee. And and I gotta say, just just from the body language, like Salt looking a little flustered, and I feel like with someone like that type of playstyle, it's like I feel like you have to be feeling yourself. I was about to, to say well, you really right? need to like, be kind of. Feeling yourself confident. But at the same time, I think if you're Salt, when you hit that one, like, kind of clip, like, you just snap back into it. Like, it feels like as you're kind of pulled out of it, all you need is, like, a little bit of momentum, and then suddenly things look good. So, great jab. Okay, beautiful call out in air, though. Mm -hmm. Gets back to stage. I like going back to center there, but jab up smash. Jab up smash. These double jump aerials. Back to the stage has been working out for, for Salt, I think, the, the last two or three times now. But still very call outable. Okay, another knee. Okay, yeah. I, I, I Loving the adaptation from Leffen. Doesn't get the good DI that time. Salt evening it right back up. Yeah, I like uh, Salt relying on platforms a bit more. Uh, trying to kind of catch Leffen jumping, catch Leffen in bad spots, and then kind of leveraging Whoa. Falcon's ability to just kind of like cover half the stage in a second. Okay. Falcon sitting on a platform is, is not really approachable. I think Johnny is also um, someone who comes to mind who's really, really good at it as well. Like, look at this. It's like, what what is Fox's path? Like, like Salt did get outplayed there a little bit, but it's, it's still very hard for Fox to win that situation. Whoa. Yeah, especially Back when you there. have access to kind of like a really quick fall speed, you can kind of just suddenly get to the ground. And then all your aerials are oh. so fast too. Definitely an overcommitment, but amazing DI there. Gets the slide off, but Leffen is ready for it. How is he ready for that? It's crazy that both of them were ready for that situation. Yes, it was just like, so so quick and, and so niche, too. Okay. Oh, so oh, I had the right idea. Oh, okay, my God. okay, we're still going, though. Bold tech in. No. Oh, my God, it just keeps happening. Dude, how? What? I and don't Yeah, like, if there was one thing that stood out in the set, it was just not getting the ledge off of a shine, which I is mean, not <laughs> typically a problem you would see at this level of play, yeah, uh, literally, literally, just that. Like, oftentimes, it's it's some neutral mix-up or not yeah. knowing how to get out of some like weird, I don't know, combo or things setup. like jabs and stuff like we we pointed out where it can kind of throw off your timing. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know, I don't know. It's gonna cut to some replays though. We had more than a few clips there. Um, maybe maybe we'll get to see one of the the missed. Okay, this was this was the opening combo, right? Yeah. yeah. And then I think she gets like the reverse knee right there. Really good knee. Mm. Yeah, it's like she's just pressing down either too early or too late. Okay, that so was that, the jab. Yeah, that was good. That that's was, legit. Yeah. That was legit. That but was earned. And there, yeah, the tip in, like you said. 
getting getting the the jump. Oh my god! So so <laughs> many things. They're getting the jump after the the drop zone on Yoshi's is, is quite hard. You have to get a perfect jump, or you have to buffer it with control stick. Yeah. Like right there. I think that one was maybe a hard one. Yeah, you'd have to really really uh, anticipate it. But we've kind of seen Salt hit those defensive options in more tight situations. So I don't know. It, it still stood out, and there were a couple that felt like more, like right there, mm -hmm. more standard. Um, again, obviously, I'm not trying to be critical of Salt, but that just kind of stood out a bit. It's not even criticism. I've it's yeah. just, just it's just kind of noticing something a little yeah. different. Also, man, look at the percents. They're all one, two, and threes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's so cool. 32, 31. Um, so we got Josh Van Jamook. Upcoming. Uh, upcoming. upcoming. Those yeah. stats for the previous set. Yes, of course. Yep. Um, so we've seen both of those guys mm. play. Uh, Jamook mm. we saw uh, against Iron, right? That's uh, right, yeah. Looking pretty solid, but one of the things we might see kind of deviate from the gameplay we just saw is when Jamook was playing Iron... I don't feel like Iron was as good at some of the kind of like anti chic counterplay. Things like hitting that uh, frame one shine on the get up on the tech in place. Things like kind of the slight DI we didn't see as much. And the reason I'm pointing that out is we didn't really see J Mook have to do the whole like wave dash back tech chase stuff. He didn't really have to rely on that at all, which makes his tech chase job much easier. I feel like Josh Man is going to make him work a bit harder for the tech chases. For sure. Uh, that said, J Mook still hits those. So it's going to be a matter of can 